I was standing here was still coming right at me. Well, an Encinitas woman with a warning right now after she and her dog had a scary showdown with a coyote. So it led to this woman grabbing a big stick to defend herself. Yeah, frightening. And as 10 News reporter Michael Chen found out, the coyote's unusual behavior is raising concerns. Come on, baby. Kelly Willer's dog, Max, is on a leash. And it'll stay that way for good. Definitely not worth the risk. On Wednesday morning, that risk. He immediately went into scared mode. Leaped out of the brush. Really sh a shock. After Wheeler let Max off leash. He went to sniffing, looking for bunnies. In this power line easement feet from our backyard. I noticed a dog run out, well, what I thought was a dog, run out behind him and realized that it was a coyote chasing him. The coyote a bit taller and leaner than the 50 pound Max. And the coyote was just, you know, right on him. As Wheeler yelled, the coyote chased Max, circling this area twice. He kept trying to put his face here. When he'd get right behind Max, I thought maybe he was trying to take out his legs. Moments later. Max, go home. A terrified Wheeler told Max to go home, and he did. But Wheeler was now in the coyote's way. I was standing here, was still coming right at me. Wheeler grabbed for the nearest stick. And I was kind of standing here, and the coyote was still coming, so I just threw the stick and just kept going, and the coyote kind of ran off. Coyotes are no strangers to the area. This is my cat, Sprocket. These tattoos show her two cats, both killed by coyotes. But experts say the coyote's aggression in the daytime is odd. We're told it's breeding season, and the coyote may have been defending her den. Here's what's really concerning. The coyote encounter happened about 60 feet that way. This is an elementary school playground. It was really freaky, and I will definitely not be coming here by myself. Michael Chen, 10 News.